welcome back to Music Body Mind. My name is Amelia and I'm a trombonist and yoga teacher. I am here today with Brienne Borden. She is a doctoral student in trumpet performance at Arizona State University. And she's focusing her dissertation on yoga for musicians, which is so, so incredible. And you've been teaching yoga for seven years, you said, which is also amazing. And she's super passionate about bringing yoga into the music world, just like I am. So I'm so happy we got to collaborate today. Yeah, I'm really happy I'm here too um, and that we were able to connect and um, it's really cool that we both used yoga to work through repetitive motion injuries that we both kind of gained through um, using our bodies inefficiently uh, as musicians. Mm -hmm. So we are really excited to share a couple partner yoga poses with you guys. They'll take five minutes in a practice room. So grab a partner, grab a friend, a fellow musician, and let's get started. So the first partner yoga pose that we're going to show you is a great way to open up your shoulders. As brass musicians, or if you play a forward-facing instrument at all, it's really easy for our shoulders to start to round forward and our chest to collapse. So the two poses that we're going to show you first are really going to help you open up your shoulders and open up your body so you have better posture when you're playing your instrument. So the first thing you'll do is you'll face your partner and then stick your right hands out like you're going to shake your partner's hand. And then we'll actually just take the palms together and then start to turn away from that hand, so towards the left. And then once you go as far as you comfortably can for your shoulder, add a little pressure into your partner's hand and you'll start to feel a deeper stretch in your shoulder. So once you get into the pose, start to take a few deep breaths. And if you want to add a neck stretch to it, you can take a deep breath in and then exhale, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder, away from your partner's hand. And then when you're done with that pose, gently start to take your head back to center and then walk back in towards your partner. Awesome. Now, of course, we have to do the other side to balance out our body. So left hands come out and start to turn to the right. And then add that little bit of pressure and then big inhale, exhale, tilt your head over to the right side. And then when you're done with this pose, inhale back up to the center and exhale, come all the way back to face your partner. So this next partner yoga pose is also really good for opening your shoulders, but it also helps with the in between your shoulder blades and opening that part of your body. And you'll start by facing your partner. You wanna be arm width distance apart and grab each other's shoulders. From here, start to walk your feet back. And then soft bend in your knees, melt your heart down, let your head and neck relax. To come back up, press into your feet. Inhale as you rise up and walk your feet together. So the next pose that we're going to do is a partner yoga tree pose. And tree pose is a balance pose. Balance is so good for us as musicians because it helps us with focus, it helps us find our core support, and balance and feeling stability into the ground is really important when you are performing as a musician. So what you'll do is you'll face side to side with your partner, and then you'll take your hands out to the side and press your palms together. And then shift all of your weight into the foot that's closest to your partner, turn your opposite knee out to the side. Now you want to continue to press into your partner's hand. When you're ready, slowly start to lift that outer foot up to your calf. And we can go either above or below our knee, it doesn't matter, as long as you're not putting pressure on your knee. And then you'll use your partner to continue to lift up really tall with the crown of your head, Take a couple breaths, and then when you're ready, we'll have to switch over to the other side. So let's go ahead and do see do. <laughs> Take your opposite hands together. All that weight goes into the inside foot. Outer knee comes out to the side, and then we'll lift up onto the other side. And use your partner. Your partner is there to help you, to support you with balance. Lift up a little bit taller. And when you're ready to release that, both feet come all the way back down. So this next pose is also really great for feeling grounding through your feet and core activation. What I love about it is that it forces you to instill trust in your partner, um, which as we know as musicians, you need either your, if your stand partners, um, you're playing chamber music or anything like that. So to get started, face your partner and take your arms out long, grab for each other's forearms. Keep your feet hip width distance apart and start to lean back. Trust your partner as you sit your hips down. Keep your chest lifted. Engage your core. Take a couple breaths and then rise back up. 
This next pose that we're going to show you is a twist to do with your partner, and twists are so beneficial for everyone, especially for spinal health. So it's really simple. We'll start by facing back to back. And go cross your legs in any way that's comfortable. And we'll start, take your right hand to your left knee, your own left knee, and then you'll take your left hand to your partner's right knee. And you wanna inhale, just lift up a little bit taller. And on your exhale, you can deepen and really use your hand on your partner's knee to deepen. You'll take a couple breaths here. And of course, switch it out. So inhale, come back. And then take your left hand to your right knee. Exhale as you take your right hand to your partner's left knee. Breathe. And then inhale, come back to center. So the next two poses and the last two poses we're going to show you are really good for two things. The first is for tight hips. I know as musicians, we have such tight hips because we're sitting in chairs and in rehearsals practicing and performing all the time and so our hips can get really tight. Also, these poses really help us elongate through our spine and work out some of the tension that happens in our low back when we're playing and sitting for a long period of time as well. So the first thing you're going to do, the first one we're going to do, face away from your partner. So you'll turn and then you'll come back to back with your partner. And then I'm gonna go first, so I'll take my legs long, and Brianne's going to have her feet flat on the ground. And you'll do this together with your breath. So we'll take an inhale together, and then as we exhale, Brianne's going to just slowly start to sink back onto my back. And so I'm getting the benefits of a forward fold, and she's getting the benefits of a back bend. So it's really good for both partners. And then when you're done with that, start to slowly lift up. And then you'll switch spots. So now I'll bend my knees and take my feet flat to the floor. Brianne's going to lengthen her legs out, take a deep breath in. And then as we exhale, I'm going to lean into her back. And so the person folding forward, think about relaxing as much as possible. And I'm thinking about my shoulders rolling down my spine and opening up my chest and throat. And when we're done with this, inhale, come all the way back up to the top. And we'll show you our last one. Our last partner pose for you is similarly really good for your hips. It's going to target your inner hips just a little bit more than the last one. So you'll start by facing your partner and straddle your legs wide. Take your feet to each other's feet. Go as wide as you're both comfortable going. And then grab down through your sits bones and grab for each other's hands. Um, I'll lean back first, so we'll take a deep breath in. And then exhale, I lean back, pull her towards me. And she'll stay for a couple breaths, and we'll switch it out. Inhale as she comes back up. And then exhale, other direction. You want to keep your spine long, and I'm thinking about squeezing my shoulders together here. Inhale, come back up. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this partner yoga video. Let us know in the comments below if you liked it and if you want more partner yoga videos in the future. And a huge thank you to the International Women's Brass Conference for bringing the two of us together. We've known about each other for quite some time and it's really exciting to be able to actually connect in person mm -hmm. and meet and collaborate. And if you're interested in 2021, will be the next International Women's Brass Conference and that's gonna be in Denton, Texas at the University of North Texas. And we'd love to see you there. You can find all of Brianne's Yoga for Musicians content online. I'll link them below. Her Instagram is Yoga for Musicians, and her YouTube channel is Finding Your Center. Yes. You can, of course, find all of my content on Facebook and Instagram, Music Body Mind. Like and subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated for all future Yoga for Musicians videos that I post. Thank you again so much for watching, and namaste. namaste.